You ever heard of a BOA? Around here, it stands for Big Old Alligator. Stick around to find out which attraction in today's countdown will get you up close to a BOA. Hey, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Florida Trail and Camp Report. I'm Joanne. And I'm Wes. Thanks for joining us. If this is your first time here, then welcome to our channel where we cover hiking, backpacking, and camping in Florida. If you're interested in seeing more of this type of content, consider subscribing to our channel. Make sure you click the notification bell so that you don't miss any of our episodes. Today we continue our countdown of the top 10 attractions in Mayaka River State Park. If you missed last week's episode, then use the links on the screen or down below in the description to catch up. Picture. Now, the first attraction in today's countdown probably wasn't meant to be an attraction, but we decided to include it because of the several hours that we spent enjoying everything that it has to offer. Number eight in our countdown is Park Drive. Park Drive is the main road that takes you from the ranger station at the south entrance through the park to the north side. Ancient relic. Starting at the ranger station, you'll want to stop in and check out the Friends of Mayaka gift shop where they have your typical commemorative memorabilia like cups and shirts and hats. But you can also find out what's going on in the park, like what's currently blooming and if there are any areas that are underwater or off limits. You can also find books on the park's flora and fauna. We're here at Mayaka State Park. We're getting ready to go on our first trail. Are you ready, dear? No, I'm not ready. I don't have the right shoes. My fashion okay. statement. <laughs> okay, then I'll go, I'll go on it by myself. Okay, I've completed the first trail at Mayaka State Park. By myself. We didn't have to travel far from the ranger station for our first encounter. Driving along we see, looks like a mama and a baby deer over in the distance. They've seen us now, and they're watching us. from the road without even getting out of the car. During the wet season, from May to October, you'll see more birds and alligators from the road. The deer will start to come back once it dries out a bit in November.
Whether you're in a car, on a bike, or just taking a stroll, Park Drive offers hours of relaxing recreation. The next attraction in our countdown is just off Park Drive and will kick up the adventure level a bit. If you're daring enough, you can get up close to a BOA for some great pictures. Keep in mind you need to stay 20 foot from all alligators and the shoreline because you can never tell when the alligators are just under the water. Coming in at number 7 is the bridge. bridge here in the um, park proper area several alligators laying along the shoreline so we're gonna jump out here there's a trail that goes right down so it gets up a little closer to the alligators <laughs> Jeremiah said he feels like wrestling an alligator so he figured he climbed a tree today so while he's got his moxie up he's gonna wrestle an alligator isn't that what you said, Jeremiah? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why am I in front? I'm supposed to stay 20 foot from the water, too. This is not 20 foot, Jeremiah. Just to let you know. She's always keeping an eye on the water line there. There's one right there, guys. It's underwater. Yeah. He's stalking us. All right, so turn around there. All right, you ready? Uh, no. Oh. I look like it though, don't I? Yeah, you do. I thought you were. Hi. <laughs> she, she just asked me if I look like God. This is for my YouTube channel. You can be on our YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> I love gators. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from New York. We come here every time we come to Florida. Oh, this is great. Yeah. I love this place. This is a great park. Absolutely. I'm going to try to get closer to that gator there. How you feeling, Jeremiah? Good. Good? How much closer do you think we can get? It looks tired. We can get closer. We can get closer? Okay. He said he's tired. He's tired. Okay. You can take a lead then. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably about close enough right there. So here's how you tell. Between his eyes and the tip of his nose, you, you figure out how many inches that is, right? And then that's how many feet he is. So if you think he's like eight inches from the tip of his nose to the, his eyes, then he's about eight foot. <laughs> 